Yeah. It's time for the maiden voyage. It's time for the maiden voyage. Yeah. All right, YouTube, check it out. We're over here at, at Hosperia Medical Supply Place in Austin. Taking our first load with the new truck. Gonna drop this trailer in door four and pick up our loaded somewhere up there on the hill, I think. Um, if you guys, the funny part about this place, in this situation, is if you remember the first load that I did with the Lone Star, it was at this place. And I backed the trailer into that door over there and it was having all types of problems backing that long ass truck into that door. Uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that video, go look at the first video, first load with the Lone Star because it was at this very exact same place. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to back this thing into door four, hook up to our loaded, and get up out of here and head to Springfield. Yeah! Ooh! Ooh.
Austin right now at a Flying J and we're on a we're on the scale here because this morning I filled up the truck full of fuel full of depth full of reefer fuel with an empty trailer to get a baseline to find out you know what the truck and trailer weighs without no load in it uh, here's what it weighed check it out so there you go so that's what it looked like without a load on it um, I moved the fifth wheel forward uh, to close up the gap Not it's not all the way forward it's like the, where the nose of the trailer is right now is at like the front hold on one second go ahead I told you guys to hold on like, like a phone call I'm here number. truck is A as an alpha out, uh, out A8000 Number. Say again, the trail number? The trail number is 180213. This isn't a cat scale, obviously. We'll be right back. You're all set. Thank you. Thanks. Alright, so let's go inside and see what we weigh because what I'm thinking we're going to have to do, because the bills say 30. 37,000 pounds of freight and in this truck here there's a uh, there's a pressure gauge for the drive axle instead of an actual weight gauge so I need to see what the, the pounds correlate to the pressure so that way when I'm looking at my gauge on my dashboard I know that I'm not over weight on my drives so I'm gonna go inside real quick get the ticket and then I'm gonna uh, see if we're still heavy or heavier on the steers and uh if we are heavier i'm gonna move the fifth wheel back a little bit so let's go see all right so with uh 37 pounds ugh, 37 thousand pounds can't talk today 37 thousand pounds of freight full tanks of fuel we're 12,660 on the uh here let me just show you so 12 660, 29, 1, 30, 820, 72, 6 and change. So, so this is where I've got the trailer. It's where technically it's supposed to be to get the most fuel economy. But we're a little heavy on the steers. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna slide the fifth wheel back one notch and then uh i don't know it's not that bad plus we're full of fuel you know what we're not going to slide the fifth wheel you know why the reason why is because of this i show you the front axle can withstand 13 
1,200 pounds. So, technically, technically we're good. And with the uh, trailer tucked in like this, we're gonna get good fuel economy. So, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try this first. Now we're gonna hop in the truck and see what 29,000 pounds correlates to in PSI on my drive axle. Ah. 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 So right now we're looking at the suspension gauge inside the menu here on the uh, dashboard and we're reading 46 PSI. So at 46 PSI we're at 29,000 pounds on the drive axle. We're gonna have to pull a load that uh, is like really heavy, you know, close to being maxed out so we could get a, 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 a better reading of that PSI gauge to find out, you know, where where the 34,000 mark is, you know what I'm saying, in PSI, so. But yeah, so we're a little heavy on the steers, but that's okay. We're not over 80,000 pounds. If I was over gross, you know, if I was close to being maxed out, then, you know, that would be, that could be a problem, but we're, it's going to be okay. So this load's a little light considering, considering, and, uh, oh, uh, we need, we need to get a heavier load so we could dial in that PSI gauge to figure out what's what with it, you know, but, uh, but yeah, so on our way to Springfield now. So here we go. So we got some heavy, heavy, heavy traffic here in Temple, Texas on the 35. I don't know what's going on, but the GPS is saying that it's gridlock for a while. For a while. So, yeah, this is going to slow us down quite a bit. I'm not going to make it to Springfield till late tonight now. Man, it's taken me forever to get to Springfield. I'm in uh, Dallas now. It's uh, almost three o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, yeah, it's just like never gonna get there. It's just gonna be there late, 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 late tonight. Now, my goodness! Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go again, just north of Dallas. You know, there's an accident again up ahead, you know, and people are like, you know what? I'm going to go over here on the service road and cut everybody off. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut everybody off and weasel my way up to the front. Damn, you guys got to watch. Freaking bullshit. All day today. This is the third time. Never going to freaking get there. Beautiful day out, yet nobody knows how to fucking drive. This is unbelievable. Uh, Six and a half hours late. Finally freaking here, man. Oof. So we made it here to Prime. Springfield. Got to turn the paperwork in for this load. And then, uh, it's been a long day. And then we got to, uh, get the truck trailer washed real quick. Then we got to go over to Bay 47 and get the Qualcomm stuff for tomorrow morning. And then we're going to go to bed. It's been a long day. It's 10 o'clock. And I've been up since like four this morning, so yeah, good times. All right, we're pulling into the wash bay here at Prime. It's gonna be the truck's first wash. So we're delivering our first load, we're getting our first wash. We are just getting it done. It's 10.30, it's late. Oh, we're almost done with this day though. All right, YouTube, we're over here at the wash bay for the first time here at Prime. Hey, don't scratch it! <laughs> don't scratch it! 
Now, this guy's cool, man. This is one of my subscribers right here, believe it or not. I got subscribers all over the place, man. I just got them everywhere. How long have you been watching my channel? Since the first time you came through, probably about, I don't know, close to eight, nine months ago, I'd say, in your Lone Star. Oh, when I had the Lone Star? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. the old Lone Star. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're over here. It's like 1030 at night. We're getting it washed for the first time. We drove it through the rain today up from Austin, Texas. And uh, this will be the first time I get to see it washed. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hopefully it's nice and sunny tomorrow so we can appreciate it. But it is what it is, you know? It's a work truck. Yeah. All right, YouTube. She's all cleaned up. First wash, first load done. I mean, technically we didn't deliver the load but we brought it here and we're gonna drop it on the yard for the, you know. But yeah, so technically, but check it out, man. This thing's clean. Ugh. Oh, we'll turn the camera around. Check it out. Would you just look at this thing sparkle? Oh my God. That is sick. Sick, I tell you. Oh my God. That is something else. Something else, let me tell you. Sorry for the shakiness. The shake cam. Yeah, it's raining. It's cold out here. Anyway, she's all clean. Looking sharp. That's how we do it. Oh yeah, I'm very happy that we got all that grime off of her. So anyway, so it's raining. It's cold up here in Missouri. Missouri. Woo, it's cold. Shit. <sighs> and uh, eh, it's uh, almost 11 now, I think. What time is it? It's 11.15. Holy shit. So it's 11.15. I got to drop this trailer. Uh, and then I got to go over to Bay 47 and get the Qualcomm for tomorrow. And then I got to get to bed. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment below. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Anyway, you know. Alright, we're out of here. Later. Have a good night. Later. Later.